We will be discussing phototransduction in the rod cells of the retina. When light enters the eyeball, it'll hit the retina, which hits the rods and the cones as well. Rods help to see the light, and the cones help to see the color. When light hits the rod cells, it turns off the rod cells, which is known as the phototransduction cascade. With a closer view of the rod cell, you can see that there are little tiny particles all inside. These are called the rhodopsin. This is a rhodopsin in a much closer view. You can see that it has a particle inside. This is known as the retinal. And when light hits that, it turns into this, so it straightens out. Also, whenever light hits the rhodopsin, the rhodopsin itself changes shape and the transducin is added on. The transducin has three subunits, alpha, beta, and gamma. When light hits the transducin and the rhodopsin, the transducin breaks off and the alpha subunit comes into the rod cell and attaches to phosphodiesterase. Phosphodiesterase helps balance the concentration of CGMP and GMP. This little pink particle right here is CGMP. This is what keeps the sodium channels, which are the green objects on the side, open. And when the alpha subunit attaches to the phosphodiesterase, CGMP turns to GMP because the concentration is lowered. And when the concentration is lowered, the sodium channels close, which causes lack of sodium ions in the rod cell which causes hyperpolarization and this is when the rod cell turns off. After the rod cell turns off, what's known as the on-center bipolar cell turns on. This will sell a retinal ganglion cell to a nerve impulse that will go to the brain. And that is how we see light, which is called the phototransduction cascade.